All right, Ryan O'Donnell here, and this is the very first edition of Swim Talk. Joining us today is our guest, Matt Hutchins. Uh, Matt, why don't you introduce yourself? All right, um, so my name is Matt Hutchins. I'm originally from Christchurch, New Zealand. Um, so if anyone knows New Zealand, it's kind of a little bit further south than the major cities. Um, I mean, I swim primarily middle distance to distance freestyle, and that's, I mean, that's really it on a swimming swimming background, I guess, yeah. Oh, very nice. As he said, Matt is an international swimmer. He's training here at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Now, how long have you been swimming? Um, I think I, I got really competitive at the, about the age of 13 or 14 with swimming. I mean, I swam for a couple of years before that, just over summers and stuff for general fitness. Oh, very nice, very nice. Now, you've been at the University of Wisconsin-Madison for how long now? Just over a year? Just over a year. I got here at the winter of 2013, 2014. Very nice. Now, what's the training been like compared to what, you know, you used to do? Um, it's been very different. At back home, my club was very much based around my schedule. So here it's been a lot different trying to be on a team schedule, but also getting very different styles of training just yeah. instead of just pure distance. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. that had to have been quite the adjustment, right? It was, it was quite the adjustment. There's a lot more focus on strength and speed here than I had a lot at home. So that's been cool. Makes me a little bit bigger. Very nice, yeah. You always want to be, you know, exactly. look good, swim well, good, yeah, right? Exactly, those are the two things that go well together. Yeah, so. exactly. Now, as I said before, Matt Hutchins is a New Zealand Olympic hopeful. Now, why don't you just share with us, like, you know, your schedule leading into the 2016 Olympic Games? Um, so, for the for New Zealand, I have to, the biggest thing is having to qualify at our, at our trials meet. So, instead of, like, the Americans do, how they qualify a month before, our trials are at the, at the early April, at the beginning of April. So, that's kind of when we're still in school. So, I'll have to go through the usual college program. So I go to nationals, go to conference champs, but then I have to take about a week to two weeks off school, go home and try and swim um, my country standards for my, my 200, 400, 1500 freestyles in early April. So. Very nice. Well, we wish you the best of luck with that. You know, we're going to be looking to see Matt Hutchins with the Olympic rings tattooed on his body. <laughs> you know, just a quick question. If you were to be an Olympian, would you get the Olympic rings tattooed? Of course, that's, that's the first tattoo in line, yeah. pretty much. That's, nice. Yeah. Where are you thinking of getting it? I'm um, tossing up between under the arm right now or just on the side of the chest. So hey. those are the two, the two positions in the running. Both, both positions seem pretty <laughs> sweet. Now, uh, before we go, I just want to get some advice from you. Being an international swimmer, you know, it had to have been a huge adjustment coming halfway across the world just to swim in you know, study school in America. Now, what kind of advice would you give other swimmers looking to go abroad and how, you know, you chose to come to Madison? Um, probably the biggest piece of advice I could give someone would be try to find a school that's going to, like, push you. Don't try and, don't try and come to a school where you know you're going to be one of the top dogs in the pool or where school's not going to be hard. Really try to find somewhere where you know it's going to be a challenge, you're going to have to work, but also the people around you are going to help you improve. So there's no point being in a really like a really shitty school or swim team when you know you're going to be better than them. Try and find somewhere where everyone's going to work harder together and it will help you improve. Well, I think that's extremely admirable yeah. advice right there. And uh, I think we're just about out of time now. And uh, let's all thank Matt Hutchins for joining us right now. And uh, <laughs> Like I said, very first edition of Swim Talk. There will be more to come in the future. Matt, good luck. Thank you, Ryan. Yep. And, uh, all right.